It's Tech Tuesday, somehow staying popular when most of my stories mean nothing to the non-geeks. I'm Liam Spohr. Number five, Nokia releases a netbook. Well, these days I'm surprised there aren't Target brand netbooks by now, so okay. Anyway, Nokia has built this little MacBook lookalike with 3G connection in mind, since you can get it with an AT&T data plan at half price, $300. It's basically the most generic netbook you can get, 120 gig hard drive, one gig of RAM, a 10 inch screen, and an Atom processor. Yes, you have to sell your soul on AT&T to get it cheap, but the trick is, sell your soul to Microsoft or Verizon first, get it for 300 bucks, and technically, you never lose anything. Number four. Water on the moon! Yes, there's a whole new, extremely small, barren, so far useless world now open to humanity. Wait, we were already on the moon? Okay, so it's been open for a while, but now we can shoot monkeys up there and make them live on the moon for a while, not just fly back home. The recent bombing of the moon by some crazy doomsday machine recycle that NASA pulled off has brought back data that proves that a significant amount of water is in and on the moon. It's a regular old water, and besides being purified, would be perfectly drinkable. This may mean the Moon Base Hotel will be the newest celebrity hotspot by 2020. I wonder how we missed the water the first few times we went up there? Maybe Armstrong was too busy bugging the craters to listen in on any commie spies. Tom Hanks, you flew all the way around and didn't catch it? Way to fail in the name of America. Number three, if you haven't already sold your soul to AT&T, then you may enjoy this. Those there's a map for that ads I talked about a few weeks back are getting some attention from the evil empire itself. They're all worked up because the maps that Verizon is using apparently are false and also mislead viewers to think AT&T does not work anywhere but the blue places, even though it's clearly labeled its 3G coverage. Now, I won't deny the stupidity of customers, but the ads are legit talking about 3G coverage, show accurate maps of both service coverages, and let the color speak for itself. I think the land of misfit toys ones really hurts, and the fact that Apple has not come to the aid of AT&T, even though the ads are aimed specifically at the iPhone, it must make AT&T feel really bad that no one likes it. And I have to say about your suing and anger, the truth hurts. Number two. More low-powered PC news comes from Dell. They released the Dell Xeno HD this week as the answer to Acer and HP's growing dominance in the home theater PC market. This nettop features HDMI out with audio, plenty of expansion ports, a DVD drive, and up to one terabyte of storage. They are a bit more unique when it comes to processors as the Xeno features AMD chips instead of the Intel Atom chip that is nearly universal in netbooks and nettop rigs. For under $230, it's a good alternative to buying a media server like Apple TV and still provides you what you need for HD streaming and light web browsing. Also very good for mistaking as a Mac Mini. And number one, jealous that you can't play Modern Warfare 2 since you don't have an Xbox? I know, it's sad. So of course, you're looking on eBay for a cheaper used console to satisfy your need to invest hours in a game. Bad idea, here's why. Not only do you not get the warranty, so when, I mean, if your 360 goes red rings of death, there's a whole gaggle of Xboxes out there right now that have been banned from Xbox Live. Microsoft recently shut down a ton of modders who were playing pirated games after messing with their systems. When they connected to Live, Microsoft was able to catch their modding and then ban the console from ever being used to play online games. These modders really learned their lessons. They turned around and started selling the modded, banned consoles on eBay for cheap and are failing to mention how you can't connect to Xbox Live. Don't think that this can be fixed by calling tech support. The consoles themselves are banned and Microsoft has no plans of lifting the ban just because some console got sold to someone else. If we have learned anything from this, it's not to buy an Xbox. If you already have a ton of money invested in games and gear like me, well, I feel for you. Hey, can I get AT&T now since I already sold my soul to Microsoft? That's all for this week. Hopefully Tech Tuesday won't get red rings of death by next time. But in case we do, there's always YouTube, youtube.com slash tech Tuesday. If I get 1 million views, I won't rip any more lines off from Ryan. By the way, if you have noticed that big table down in the main lobby, well, it's not just a pointless booth from homecoming. It's for a good cause. Bring in three items on the list or $3 to support the holiday food drive, and you get a ticket to see a movie in the auditorium on the half day instead of going to those fun classes. Get all of your donations in by the 24th, and remember that only the first 300 people who donate will get in. Our auditorium is in the Mountain Arena. Food drive, you have my support. School, don't let me down. I'll see you next week.